Most people may recognize Avira for its bright red umbrella-shaped logo, but what's this antivirus actually like? So years ago, Avira wasn't exactly the best antivirus available. You know, it had a few flaws. That said, Avira has changed quite a lot over the last few years. But has it changed for the better, or would you be better off trying something else? Hey, I'm Nathan Blake from Safety Detectives. Let's get started. If you need a quick answer, here's my overall summary of Avira. Avira has transformed itself from a clunky and not so effective antivirus to an extremely effective cybersecurity suite that protects against almost all threats, including malware and online attacks. When it comes to antiviruses and internet security products, I have super high standards as I've spent years testing many of the best antivirus products available. Avira definitely gets my seal of approval as one of the best antivirus suites right now on the market. Avira has some really cool features like real-time malware protection that uses AI to stop hard to detect threats privacy setting optimizer, system speed up tools, and a lot more. However, there are a couple of things that Avira could improve on. The VPN isn't very fast, its web protection could be improved, and the password manager could do with a couple extra features. That said, Avira is an all-around great antivirus suite up there with the likes of Norton, McAfee, Bitdefender, and other top antiviruses. Also, Avira's prices change quite a lot, but to make sure you're not paying more, I've left a link in the description box below to Avira's discount page that shows all of their cheapest offers right now. Let's see what Avira has to offer. Avira's main security features include malware protection, web protection, device cleanup and optimization, privacy setting optimization, a VPN, and a password manager. So first with malware protection. Avira's antivirus engine uses its very own technology called Night Vision, which basically combines AI and cloud technology to stop even the most hard to detect cybersecurity threats. I got as many malware samples as I could find, including Trojans, rootkits, spyware, keyloggers, worms, and more, and threw them all at Avira's real-time scanning engine to test its malware protection, and it caught every single piece of malware. So yeah, Avira has very, very good malware protection. I even simulated a lot of different ransomware attacks, and Avira blocked all their encryption attempts, making it virtually impossible for ransomware to cause any harm to my computer. I then went ahead and ran Avira's malware scanner to see the majority of active and inactive malware files on my system. The full system scan only took around 40 minutes, which is super fast, and I didn't really experience any kind of system slowdown during the scan. I was still able to use my PC like usual. I even hid some malware files in obscure areas of my hard drive and in my PC startup disk, and Avira's full system scan still managed to catch the files. Basically, nothing got past Avira's malware protection, making it as effective as other top brands like Norton, McAfee, and others. But what about Avira's web protection? Avira's web protection are okay, but they're not necessarily the best. When I tested the web protection by visiting hundreds of malware and phishing links on my Chrome, Firefox, and Edge browsers, the results were mixed. It only managed to catch around 50% of the dangerous links, and it didn't detect any of the obvious phishing links, such as fake Facebook, PayPal, and Amazon login pages. But, and it is a big but, Avira offers a web security browser extension that works flawlessly at blocking malicious URLs. The extension also has a built-in online shopping feature that detects better deals online, so it can save you some extra cash while protecting you. I wish Avira's built-in web protections were good enough on its own to not need an extension, but I'm glad Avira does offer a great easy-to-install extension that offers reliable web protection. Here's a question for you. Has your PC been a little slow lately, or are you short on storage? Avira's optimization tools have got you covered. Avira's PC cleanup and optimization tools are among the best that I've tested. Right off the bat, I ran a system cleanup scan to see how much junk was left lying around my PC. The scan found over 8GB of junk files, including duplicate photos and music files, and unnecessary downloads that were clogging up my hard drive, and after a simple click, all the files were deleted from my system. I then looked into the performance optimization tools. There were a lot of options which were cool, but a little overwhelming at first, but it did a great job, significantly speeding up my PC startup time and reorganizing my hard drive so it's easier to access and load specific files. But what I like the most is that Avira has a real-time optimizer that automatically allocates PC resources to help better run the programs you use most and stops unnecessary programs and processes from taking up too much CPU power and system memory. So yeah, I give Avira's device optimization a pretty big thumbs up. They're awesome. Avira also comes with privacy optimization. Now, if you haven't got the correct privacy settings in place, many programs downloaded onto your system can pretty much access any data that they want without you knowing even down to what files you've opened and what songs you've played. This is where Avira's Privacy Pal comes to rescue by optimizing over 200 privacy settings, many of which are pretty confusing to understand, with just one click. I tested it out and I have a few options, including Basic, Enhanced, and Personalized. 
The personalize option is probably best if you're a bit more confident with choosing your privacy settings. But since I wanted to as much privacy as possible, I clicked the enhance option. And sure enough, when I checked all of the privacy settings, they were all changed to fully protect my activity and data. But it doesn't stop there. With privacy features, Avira also offers a VPN. In a nutshell, a VPN, aka a virtual private network, protects your privacy online by encrypting your web traffic and changing your IP address location, so no one can snoop on you while you're browsing online. VPNs are also useful for accessing geo-restricted content, such as Netflix shows that are blocked in your country. Avira VPN is actually pretty easy to function and offers a decent number of server locations. I had no trouble connecting to different server locations, although my connection wasn't always that fast and reliable while streaming movies and TV shows. If you're looking for something that offers faster download speeds and more reliable connections, which you'll need if you're streaming a lot of HD videos or music, you should probably try out a standalone VPN, like NordVPN or ExpressVPN. But if you're looking for an easy way of keeping your online activity private, Avira's VPN does a pretty good job. And finally, Avira also offers a password manager. Password managers are a handy way of securely storing all of your passwords, usernames, payment card details, and other sensitive data. Avira's password manager includes a few cool features, such as an AES 256-bit encryption, a strong password generator, online account security monitor, and an auto login option that automatically logs you into online accounts with one click. Now, don't get me wrong, Avira's password manager is pretty good but it's missing a few features that standalone password managers offer, like a desktop app, dark web monitoring, automatic password changing, secure file storage, and more. That said, I do think if you haven't already got a password manager and you're looking for a half decent one just to store your passwords, a virus password manager is a good option. So if you wanna try a Vira, how much would it cost you? Avira has got three premium plans and one free plan. The free plan is actually pretty good, but for all of the extra features mentioned in this video and more, Avira's Prime package is the best option. But if you already have a VPN, password manager, PC optimization tools, and you have all of your privacy settings up to date, Avira's basic plan, Antivirus Pro, is your best bet, as it includes antivirus and web protection, as well as email security. I like how Avira sets up its pricing, as most packages are pretty affordable, but if you're on a budget, you still have some really good options. Now, if you're going to Google Avira, you're probably going to be paying much higher prices for all packages advertised on Avira's site but I've actually left a link to Avira's discount page in the description box, so you can save yourself quite a bit of money. Whatever prices you see on the other side of the link are the best offers available right now. Okay, so the question we've all been waiting for, is Avira actually worth it? Yes, yes it is. While Avira has a couple of downsides, overall it's a top-notch antivirus suite with a wide range of features that protect pretty much your whole computer. If you need things like a VPN, password manager, privacy optimizer, and device optimization tools, Avira Prime is probably the best package for you. But if you're on a budget and need an effective antivirus with a range of internet security features, the low-cost Antivirus Pro package will suit you just right. There's also Sophos Home Premium, which is also a pretty good choice if you want decent protection while on a budget. But Avira is a really, really good full antivirus suite up there with the likes of Norton 360, McAfee, Total AV, and all the other top antiviruses on the market. So I hope this video gave you a useful insight into Avira. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest cybersecurity news. If you think the video might help someone else you know, share it with them so that they can also protect their PC. And if you feel like it, leave a comment below to let us know what you think about Avira. Thanks for watching. Sayonara.